to chapter 16 of a Black Requiem Composer Walkthrough. I just did one, <laughs> one full uh, walkthrough of this level and I forgot to record. So let's do it again. Uh, I'm Olivier de Rivière and today we're going through the last chapter, I mean almost last chapter. Uh, the creative director didn't want much music oh. here except for one thing. This cutscene, of course, I'm not. and why. I just forget it sometimes. Here. Lucas, I must say, it's an honor to have you by my side. So for those who have been following this um, walkthrough Steady. series, nice. at the beginning of the game, this is Lucas' theme here. And out of all this misery, you know, the loss of um, the mom, the loss of Arno, you're Emily's death, because you think Hugo you being me. kidnapped, and everything. There's still you hope. Still There's still live. good so people around you. This is a damn and there is still love. Because there is one thing that maybe I shouldn't say. I'll say. But Lucas is in love with Amicia. Mm. Please don't tell Sebastian, the writer, that I told you. Because I'm not sure I'm allowed to say this. You know that writers, they have secrets. Live. I have so many secrets about some of the characters so in this game, this. but I won't tell. But this one, I think, no. right here, you understand that he's in step. love. So that's why I allow myself to say this. So this is a little like window to this previous feeling that A Plague Tale is about, you know, about humane, about the warmth of being with the, you know, the loved one. Um, it's very important. Now we're back to the, the misery and these waves of rats uh, you know, that are very, very scary uh, coming from Hugo. One thing also I would like to tell you is uh, at the end of this chapter, I will say something that is personal but a secret that I believe is just important or this. relative, I don't know. But Makes if you stay up to the end, you'll get uh, a little idea, idea of yes. something that you may know already, or maybe not, depending on your cultural background. So let's go to this cutscene. And here, you know, the the idea was like, what you need to know. So this shot, remember this shot? I will discuss it at the end of the chapter. Okay. So the thing is, now the voices are back, the, the macula is back, and if you've been through, once again, the walkthrough, you know that everything makes sense. You know, the macula is there, that's the, the cellos, the call, but also the voices will come, and now the voices are like with the rats, and it's no more like, ah, but it's like, wow, 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 wow. Like, it was in the dream, like it was in the island, like it was, but now it's very ominous, and it's very, uh, let's say, uh, they want to eat you, you know, wow, 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 wow. I'm the one um, you'll hear it uh, very soon. So, Macula, Macula, she's turning around. So... Here. So, let's dive. Waves is coming. Remember, it's only 70 people tops who made this game. 70 people. It's it's unbelievable. So remember when we were talking with uh, at the end of Fort uh, with Milo, Sophia was on the boat and she was scolding I think um, the kids like you know like an adult would who speak to kids, and that was the music. Is it broken? And now the roles are no, inverted. No. It's just now Amicia will reassure Sophia's hurt. Sophia that she's hurt, you know, I'll so she cannot you. help and she's helpless. Don't move. And Amicia will be it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry. As any proper you, adult will I'm react. I mean Amicia I'm is a, a grown up, even a, a better grown up than I am. And I think that most people are. So 
sorry. Don't be. You've done more than enough. Lucas and I, we've... And you know we that we've put a lot of ourselves into so this game. I can tell you that the writer, Sebastian, Not has put a lot of his heart. personal life into this. That's as much as the game director, you know, Kevin. Uh, but I won't tell anything because Go. this is on their... And come back with him. their prerogative to tell you. But there's a lot of my own I'll personal life as well. So now you're going um, after Hugo and you're going to face those waves. And so to each of these waves that you will see, we've attached this sound like Hugo. of the Hugo's way, uh, the, um, the voices like wow, 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 wow. wow, wow. Uh, once again, to remind the players uh, the connection of the Macula. You know, and it's coming and coming at you. And uh, there's this bed of like... Which is the rats, you know, previously on the first, you know, in on in Innocence it was just cello, then it was with the voices, and now, you know, it's the full, let's say, expression of the macula. Uh, so every time you have a, a new wave, there's a new wow, 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 wow. You see, so that's a, a new system. Uh, that uh, Aurélien, the game director, the game, the audio director, set it up. And so you need to run. I love Lucas expressions. And then, yeah, go, 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 go. Faster! Here, wow, wow, wow. Really impressive. So uh, let's move on to when you reach the end of this uh, nightmare to enter a new one. Are you ready? I think so. They're coming. Come on, do it. Oh my god, I'm about to reach the bridge, please! Okay. Yes. So... Remember this shot as well. So the music will sort of fade away. We've reached the end game, if I may. He's there, Lucas. And now is the... Uh, I don't know how Could to say this. It's I the trial. Like it. Just like Not only for Amicia, but mainly for the players. The nebula's condensing around him. So much must be going on in there. It, it was like, you know, no more music. It was um, it? something difficult to approach to tell. in a sense that the Think whole next section is... Weather. The a psychological trial to Amicia, of course, but mainly to you, the, the gamers, because into the we, I mean, they uh, are asking you to do stuff that are the opposite of what they taught you to do. This is the last threshold. As Hugo is trying to I'm tell Amicia. And so, for the music, it was like, you must cross it too. okay, what to should we do? Mother, what, yes. you know? And David was like, well, the one thing we should know is that we don't know if it's true or not. Right. We don't know if it's a dream or if it's real. We don't know where we are. We're lost into this nebula as we were in 
innocence when Amicia is going uh, in her um, nightmare. I don't know. And so now she's diving and listen to the music and listen to this carefully. I will talk about this at the end, once again. <coughs> so here is the uh, the big question. Is it for real? Is it not for real? I don't have the answer. All right. Lucas. But this sound is the sound of, you know, the nebula. You don't know where you are. Lucas. You know where to go. Don't. Lucas, no more with you. Lucas. Is it a bad dream? Where like, <coughs> bad trip? Who knows? Uh, my head is spinning. Oh. Once again, Charlotte, Charlotte is... I mean, everybody in this game has Focus. been amazing in terms of uh, acting. Uh, and I think that the writing has a lot to do with this as well. Like, they need a good script, they need good dialogues, so kudos to the you writers. Uh, but Charlotte really brought, you know, this... Uh, no. the script to the next level. Call the way me. she... I mean, can you imagine that she's in a booth with people surrounding her? She's not there. She doesn't see this. She even doesn't know, like, exactly what's going on or what Amicia is watching. You know, she can only project herself. Yet she really, you know, delivered something unbelievable. Yeah. So you're following the Phoenixes, and, of course, you know, most players, because I've been watching, watching a lot of you, not all of you, playing on What's Twitch, on? YouTube, what and all of this, this as much as, you know, the other members of the team. Thank you for sharing, by the way, you're playing through. It's always Phoenix something for people Phoenix. like us. So, they this can last Ryan. for a long time, they must lead to him. but Hugo will start talking to you. And the idea is that when Hugo starts talking to you, Hugo. this is the beginning of the end. This? All and even the footsteps of Amicia, when Hugo will start talking, will go away and the music will take over everything. And the music is the same music as in Innocence, when Amicia is in her bad dream. Did you put them here, Hugo? No. You did. Hugo! Oh, thank the Lord! Where are you? I'm here. I'm close. I can't see you. No more footsteps almost. They're still looking back. Those birds are the only thing here. They're showing the way, aren't they? We tried that way, Amicia, and it was enough. So now Hugo and Amicia are uh, into this conversation. Truth in it. And of course, it's uh, very moving. People brought death. But Hugo, yet, you know, people are, you know, players here are still um, wondering what should I do as Amicia is wondering. So of course, they go and follow the phoenixes. And, you know, some of them got it easily, but most of you guys uh, spent some time figuring out. So now I'm going away from uh, the path of the phoenixes. And this is when the bigger version of the music will kick in with these amazing visuals again. And so the first time you see them, those big like uh, skull heads head skulls i don't know but I'm with you. so she's going like this and the big drums were kicking like with the fire what is that you go where am i so of course those of you who've played the game already know what to do so now this is, you know, the choir and the lyrics are, um, yeah, for those who don't know the lyrics, um, this is um, up there, up there, uh, you know, so high, you and me uh, together, uh, there, in the afterlife, um, you and me in the afterlife. I mean, obviously it's about, you know, having this sort of like relationship with somebody that is dying you know what i mean 
So it's it's about you if you're staying and they're going, you know. Go away! You go! So most players would, you know, kill these things. Once again, amazing visuals. And, you know, not wait much, you know, so I'll do like uh, as they would. So they would fight and fight and fight. I just want to show you how the system works, you know. You're like uh, fighting, I'm holding on my uh, sling so it's faster. So the, the choir is done his thing. Now you have this and listen. You know when you get eaten like this in the game, the macula and everything, that's the same sound. And now back to the dreamy sound. You've lost the, the choir. And when you're going back, the music with the voices won't come back until you hit the, the creatures, you know, the, the, the human rats. I don't know how you call them. Um, so I'll show it to you. So you hear then you, you understand you don't need to follow the, the phoenixes, so now it's fine. You're gonna get teleported or... I don't know. Let's go, let's go. There. And now the music will be like just the drums with no choir. If I don't hit them, it's not no choir. Listen. So I'm not attacking, attacking, and there is no choir, but if I do this, so that was sort of a, a hint for players maybe to do this. And now is what a lot of people were um, asking, like wondering. Would there be an organ? Well, that's the organ now. Please, I need to see you. I'm proud of you. Where, where are you? I'm here. You go. Come, come. <laughs> what I can tell you is that, I I'd never see from you what again. I was I told. Uh, Charlotte at some point was so into it, it was so, so, so moving for her that after some takes, you know, like, I can't tell you exactly which one, but she had to go and leave, you know, like, leave the booth and let go. Yes, come. I think a lot of us, like, the people that did this game, I mean, including me, a lot of us cried making this game. I really did. I know. I felt like I was all alone. So now so the organ was morph into some synth. But it's a big mistake. So many people are dying right now. You know, I can feel like to something that is more. It's just the beginning. Let's just get out of here. We can make blurry it Blurry and we'll you don't know exactly us. what. And live. To when you reach the end of those stairs. Uh, come back and start again, you know, beyond the horizon. This place feels but now it's up there. The way out is up so the one thing that might be, you know, Can of I interest for you is like, you? why beyond the horizon <laughs> and up What's there? The well, he beyond the horizon was to express the fact that when you move forward and you walk and you walk and you run and you have this goal it's something even if it's beyond the horizon you you see the ending i mean even if it's you know you can move forward yes the thing is up there nobody can go And now the music will kick in. Look at them. I love 
loved this place. And these people. You have to stop this. I can't. Just focus. You did it before. Have you already? So now it's just... You know, playing tricks. I am the macula now. I am the whole game no. is reaching its conclusion. It's too late. No, no, no. And from witnessing so many of you playing, the realization that I, that I, what's gonna come up, you know, like we must stop people from dying. Maybe if we leave, it will stop. You know, Hugo, can it stop? I'm eating with but the only way to stop it is. So the music is like here. We have one chance. Stopping the with the choir. Tell me. I'll do anything. And now it's just the organ. You know I, you must stop me. Because it we needed to focus and focus onto the dialogue rather than the music. So if if there was like the choir was this you couldn't focus as much as now like this all these nice things you showed me i understand but please amicia i i'll try you can barely i know that the mix here is different because i want you to focus on the music but you can barely hear the footsteps you know you can barely hear anything else it's just like the dialogues and this organ in the background and you can stay as long as you want the, the the organ will play you know so this is as well something we need to think about because some players might be like yeah you know what i don't want to go so what the music should do well you know we need to think about this now we're crossing this door music will back the sound of this is a dream or we don't know what now hugo's gone where are you where are you I'm sorry, but you're so ready. So now, you know, is it real? Is it not real? What the hell? How can I be ready for this? I know, but I can't stop And the myself. thing was like, it was so moving, the writing, you know, before, even before we had Charlotte's voices, it was robot. You know, it was like, I don't know what to do, you know, things like this. And we could feel the intention of the writing, you know, like everything was there. And so it came with the idea that it was so strong, it was so moving. And, you know, what she's saying is so powerful that, you know, she's going to be all alone. So no music. I love you. You know. I've been happy with you. End of the organ. Goodbye, Amicia. I love you. I love you so much. But when you're gone, there'll be nothing else. I'll be alone. <laughs> so we're going to have the transition now to the cutscene, seamless once again. You know. Right. I can't. <sighs> and the idea of the creative director was like, when Lucas is coming, he's about to come. Um, he's the one bringing, I mean, I don't know if it's, you know, but he's the one bringing Amicia's back to reality. So she was in the between worlds. So, hug, and the sound will disappear. Lucas. And she's back. <laughs> I'm here. And now the drama. So this bit as well was, um, you know, it's very difficult to do movies. Um, it's all about pacing. Oh, no. With games, players are in control. So Can the pacing is even more difficult. Yes. But for scenes like this, we need to have like the the perfect pacing so call it walking simulator sometimes might be yes but to have the dialogues here and then the voices the solo voices entering was key now The 
lyrics are my joy and my heart you are all of my joy my happiness oh son oh light oh mar marvel oh light you are like your father So that was one of the biggest decisions uh, from the team to <laughs> let the player does, you know, like doing the killing. <laughs> there is an option for uh, the player not to kill Hugo and having Lucas doing it. But watching so many of you play, every time Lucas is like, oh, if you don't do it, I'll do it. Most of you were like, no, 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 no. I have to do it myself. <laughs> and it was very moving, you know, for, for me as, you know, because I don't know about the other guys, but I think that we we're all very moved by the fact that it was so hard for many of you to kill Hugo. But I think it was the best achievement we've made because we sort of like transfer, project everything that Amicia is feeling now onto you. And so you can feel almost what she feels. She's really rare in games. <laughs> and then after this um, very difficult decision um, of killing your own brother, the, um, you know, it was so heavy <laughs> even for us you know but the assumption was like it would be so hard on you guys it would be so heartbreaking that we thought that to leave you with no music just the sound of the sea coming like this you know Aurelian sounds would be soothing a little bit, like giving you time to digest what just happened. That's it for this level. Well, so concerning the uh, little secret, uh, if some of you have watched a uh, anime called Akira by Otomo. Um, you might see now a lot of connections. If you don't, think about Tetsuo. Think about the stadium, the shot and everything. Think about the dream. Think about the sound in the dream. Think about the choir. There is so much that I think it was subconscious, not only for me, but also for the writer. Sebastian, he's a, we know each other for 30 years. So we've been through, you know, all these movies together. So I know about him. And at some point I told him, you know that we're doing Akira. So it's not Akira per se. But somehow, I think we've been very much influenced by um, this piece of art. I encourage anybody here to watch this anime. This is a very amazing, and the, the animation is amazing. So thank you for watching. Next episode will be the last. It's a difficult game to go through, but, you know, I think it's worth it. Talk to you soon, hopefully. <laughs>